my name is Vina Cardinal Flooney. I've been coming to Batash. I don't know how far back. I go a long ways back, but uh, yeah, it's just a beautiful place to come and meet relatives and friends, and everybody's so friendly. Uh, I just feel good. Feel at home. People that come here, they learn about their traditions, you know, the, the dancing and the music and the arts. Louis Riel said, you know, our people will sleep for 100 years and the arts will bring them back to life. What's important about Batash for me is the great thing about all of us interns is that we're all, we were all hired as Métis interns, so we're all Métis. Some of us knew about our history prior to being hired and, and some of us didn't. And the great thing about working at MNS and Batash is that we're learning more about our culture and our history and we're, we're understanding things that maybe we weren't educated on when we were younger. Métis history is really kind of imbued into Saskatchewan history and it's really important for everybody living in the province to understand that history and kind of give back to that history and encourage it to continue to grow within cultural circumstances and modern day circumstances and all of that stuff. The young people go out into the world and they kind of lose their heritage and coming back here brings it back and they, you know, they learn a lot about their relatives and, and, and how they lived. My name is Dean Smith, uh, playing with the Dean Smith Band. Uh, we're doing some fiddle playing here today in Batosh for uh, square dancers. We're going to be doing some old time music as well later in the evening and uh, just having fun for the 50th anniversary. The most important thing is connecting with family, uh, a lot of family roots back here and uh, just enjoying, enjoying each other's company. My, my family was one of the first Métis settlers for uh, St. Laurent, which is just across the river. Um, near Duck Lake. Um, my great-great-grandfather, Patrice Fleury, fought in a rebellion on this land. Uh, he's from Duck Lake as well, and uh, so it it's hits home to be here and, and play with music and just celebrate. Some of my grandparents, my great-grandparents were dancers here with the Creeline Dancers, so it's such an honour to be back on this stage in front of this crowd, and you know, this is the biggest crowd I've seen in a long, long time, so it's so wonderful to be here to celebrate with Dr. Batosh. You know, it's important because uh, our style of dance, there's not a lot of communities that do this anymore, so our job is to continue to promote that tradition, continue to promote, continue to promote culture, um, and here is the the best venue to do it uh, in front of, you know, a hometown crowd. You know, we consider Batash our hometown because, you know, we just live, our, most of our dancers come from the Beard of Okamasa's Cree Nation, which is just across the river. So being here is just like coming home and we've been doing it for such a long time. It's just truly an honor to be here. But when you come here and, and talk to people and meet people, you'll know that right away that, you know, we've all come from various parts of the province to be here, some local, but most of us from other parts of the province or other provinces and I really feel like listening to those stories, you would, uh, you would appreciate uh, where made tea people come from, whether it's Ontario or, or Red River Settlement or Batoche. <laughs> My name is Barry Ledoux. I am a retired sergeant with the RCMP. I retired after 30 years of service. Five, six years ago, I transferred to Saskatchewan and I was able to work with, I was the liaison for the Métis Nation of Saskatchewan. So I started to become more and more involved with the Métis Nation to the point where they wanted me to come to back to Batoche, bring additional RCMP members with us. The RCMP have a long standing history with the Métis people going back, you know, to one of the more unfortunate events, the, the Riel Rebellion. The RCMP had, though, in the, that time, we're perceived as good guys because we were on the chase, on the hunt for Louis Riel. But over the years, we are now changing the direction, the way we do things. We've become more of a community-based policing. 
As you see here today, there was 12 RCMP members in Red Surge that came to participate in the grand entry. So it helps build those relationships. The majority of the Métis people throughout Canada are, are in remote communities. They're the communities that the RCMP police. So we have a role that we play not only as enforcement but also public relations. Just looking around within Eyesview, I can see three RCMP officers. And when we're out there talking and working with the people, it makes for better relationships. You know, we also like to participate. I just had the opportunity to throw an ax. How many people have seen an RCMP officer in Red Surge throw an ax? I've been known to do a few jig steps. So it's, it's a matter of embracing the, the moment and the culture and having grown up around the Métis and the First Nations culture, it's an easy position to adapt into. Oh, just out having fun, you know, gonna try and participate in many as many events as we can. My partner and myself, we love to dance, we love the fiddle music. Can't wait to get out of my red surge and start to enjoy the festivities. Oh, I just uh, hope everyone enjoys themselves and uh, thank you guys for coming out. I love Batosh. That's it. Awesome. Right on. If you have program ideas that you'd like to see on Max TV Local, email us at max.local at sastel.com.